It wouldn't be a Striper song without Michael Sweet going way up into the rafters for a note somewhere. It just wouldn't be. Hey, what's up, everybody? We are back with another reaction. Um, this time, I actually got the idea to react to this song um, uh, watching Pastor Rob Reacts. Um, if you haven't checked out his channel, you need to because that guy goes into some really awesome detail about the lyrics and... Um, even looks at some of the theology in songs and, and tries to point things back to Christ. It's really cool. He's an awesome channel. Check him out. Um, anyway, this song that we're checking out today, this is the song Yahweh by the band Striper. Now, Striper's been around forever. I mean, they're one of the legends in the Christian rock scene. They've been around, I mean, good grief. My dad listened to them when I was growing up, and so... We're checking out their song, Yahweh. This is from their 2015 album, Fallen. Um, I believe it's the first track on that album. So we're going to check this out, and we're just going to have a good time jamming to some, I guess, classic modern rock. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's check out Yahweh by Striper. Interesting choir. That sounds really good, that transition. Um, I don't even know what you would call it, but that just shift, um, I don't know what to call it, the, the transition, I guess, that little bit of a change in the riff. Uh, it shifts from that kind of picking or whatever you'd want to call it to almost like a power chord, and it sounds fantastic. Whew, this sounds good. I mean, this doesn't sound like a typical classic rock song, at least not in my mind. Um, I know it came out in 2015, but they are a classic rock band. I'm a hair metal band, so anyway, I'm gonna shut up and I'm just gonna keep going. This is epic. I mean, whew, holy cow, this was so cool. That, I mean, the lyrics, I mean, there's not much to break down with these lyrics. They're just basically explaining, leading up to the crucifixion, basically, Jesus getting beaten, him standing before Pilate, um, and even Pilate trying to say, I don't see a reason to crucify him, but the crowd's saying crucify him anyway. Um, man, this is awesome. And that cool, I love how the chorus is the choir um, singing and just this metal with the double pace, uh, double bass uh, going. Man, this is this is really cool.
I have to say, Michael Sweet's voice is still so sweet, pun intended. Um, man, this is so good, and he sounds so powerful here. Mm, man, I like this a lot. This is it's, uh, not what I expected at all. It's heavier than what I would expect to hear from Striper. Um, musically, anyway, and the, the, that second verse, dude, the, the way the guitars and the, everything just played well together, I really enjoyed that. That was, that was a lot of fun, man. That was, this is good. This is really good. It wouldn't be a Striper song without Michael Sweet going way up into the rafters for a note somewhere. It just wouldn't be. tempo change. Oh, man. I don't know what just happened with this song, but I love that, man. That tempo change was dynamite. This is, this is a fun song. Holy cow. That guitar solo was flawless. I mean, that guitar solo was fantastic. Love this. Uh, that that was good, and then the way the the tempo changed into that just like stomp beat, man, that was so much fun. I really enjoy this, Striper. Well done, man. Well done. That vocal delivery there on He Was Crucified, man, that was one of the, that's got to be one of the best deliveries I have ever heard Michael Sweet give. That was, man, that was just on point and great. <sighs> what a song. Not what I expected. Not what I expected. Alright, 
So that was Yahweh by Striper. An absolute smash of a song, man. That was really good. Um, Striper's just got to be one of the most, I mean, essential bands around in the Christian rock scene. Um, I mean, they get respect from people who don't even believe in God. I mean, they're just, they're, they're that legendary. And one of the things I like is they're super consistent. Um, you know, they've been doing this now since the 80s and have consistently held to their message of belief in God and, uh, you know, the, the divinity of Christ and all this stuff. And they just, they haven't strayed or shifted from that, which is good grief for a band to be around as long as they have and in the spotlight as much as they have to still maintain that level of consistency with their faith and the message they're putting forward is almost unheard of. I like this, man. Um, I've not always really followed what they've done, but uh, in 20... Oh, boy. 2012 or 2013, I think, um, they put out No More Hell to Pay, and it, I started really catching back on uh, to their music again because it, it was phenomenal. That album was great. Fallen is good. Um, they have a new one coming out uh, in September, if I remember th that correctly, in September. Even I think it's called Even the Devil Believes, um, which, dude, that just sounds like it's going to be epic. But like I said, I've been listening to Striper off and on since I was a kid. I grew up listening to him with my dad. So, Dad, if you're watching, big shout out to you for introducing me to this heavy music. Um, the stuff that made people uncomfortable back in the 80s. Man, I love, love this song. This is really good. I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. Um, simply because that chorus, I liked that it was a choir uh, singing Yahweh, and that it was simplistic, and that's that's fine. Um, but I do wish there was a little bit more in that chorus. I don't know. I just I feel like it needed a little bit something more to really take it up to that next level. So for that reason, I'm only going to give this song a six out of ten. Still really good, um, fantastic, great. If you really like that kind of classic rock vibe, uh, this is really good for that. But it's it's only going to get a six out of ten for me. Not not a ten out of ten. Anyway. That's it for this video. Let me know what you thought about this song. What would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being terrible and 10 being absolutely flawless. Let me know what you think. I want to hear it. And if there are any other songs I should check out, leave a comment below and I'll check them out. I'm going to put a link for Striper's uh, Facebook page if they have one, if not their website, in the description so you can find that. If you want to check out the official audio, I'll even post a link to the, uh, the song in the description as well. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. You guys keep rocking, stay safe, and be blessed.